Today we are going to discuss our determinant. So with every square matrix A of a certain order, we associate a number called determinant of A. And it is denoted by mod A or det A. If a matrix is not a square, we cannot associate a determinant with it. That means determinant always a square matrix. That means the value of N are always equal. This is 2 by 2, 3 by 3, 4 by 4, like this. So here see that A equals to Aij equals Aij N by N, where N equals to 1 to N. Date A or mod A equals to date of A11, A12, A13 up to A1N. A21, A22, A23, A2N, AN1, AN2, AN3, AN, N by N. So for order 1, we can write A11. So for only the first element. Okay. Only the first element. If order 2, then this is 4 elements. That means A11, A12, A21, A22. Okay. So, if we multiply this cross multiplication, then A22 into A11 minus A21 into A12. Okay. This is the multiplication process. Cross multiplication. A22 into A11 minus A21 into A12. Now, see that for order 3, Mod A equals to A11, A12, A13, A21, A22, A23, A31, A32, A33. Now the multiplication process is take A11, take A11, here A take A11, with respect to A11, respective rows and columns are ignored. Respective rows and columns are ignored. So here you have to take this four element. Okay, this four element. Cross multiplication A33 into A22 minus A32 minus A23. Okay. Now minus A12. Taking A12 respective rows and columns are deleted. So remaining is A21, A31, A23, A33. So that means a12 within bracket a21 a33 minus a31 a23 similarly for the last one also a13 respective row, uh, rows and columns are deleted a21 a32 minus a22 a31 now for the example see that a equals to 5 4 minus 2 3 now Data equals to 3 into 5, 15, minus 4 into minus 2, minus 8. That means minus 8. So, 15 plus 8 equals to 23, which is not equals to 0. That means when a data equals to 0, that means this is singular matrix. If data not equals to 0, this is non-singular matrix. Now for example 2, A equals to given 3 by 3 matrix. So now we can write mod A equals to or uh, data equals to 2 into 2 into 2 into 3 that is minus 6 minus 1 into 3 this is 3. So it's minus 6 minus 3. Now, next, minus 3, respective rows and columns are deleted, then minus 3 into 1, that is, minus 3, and minus, minus 2 into 3, minus 6, minus minus plus, so plus 6. Nextly, minus 2 is there, but the sign is plus, plus or minus or minus, so minus 2 within bracket 
within bracket uh, 1 plus 4. Now if we calculate we get minus 18 minus 9 minus 10 that means minus 37 which not equals to 0 that means it is non-singular. Okay. Right all of you. Now very important part this is minors and cofactors. So what is the minors? Suppose A equals to 5, 4, minus 2, 3. Okay. That means A equals to A11, A12, A21, A22. Then minor of the first element this is A11 is 3. Why 3? Because if respective row and column are deleted. So then we get the rem remaining uh, digit that is 3. Similarly for A12. See that minus 2 is A12. A12 is uh, so here A21 so A21 is given see that A21 is minus 2 okay so A21 is minus 2 that means so minor of A12 is minus 2 that means the number of A12 is 4 that means respective row and column are deleted. So that is minus 2. So this is aim of 1, 2. Okay. So minor of 1, 2 is minus 2. Similarly minor of A21. That means A21 is minus 2. So respective row and columns are deleted. Then we get only 4. Okay. Next A22. That means 3. A22 is 3. So, minor of A22 is 5, respective row and column deleted. So, A, minor of A22 is 5, that is M22. Now, Cij, the formula is Cij, that means column cofactor. Okay. So, Cij, that means Ij is uh, uh, I equals to 1 to n and J equals to 1 to n here. And here the formula is Cij equals to minus 1 to the power i plus j into m i j. Where C11 equals to C11 that cofactor of 11. One, one. Sorry, uh, yes, cofactor of 11. One, one. So that means minus 1 to the power 1 plus 1 because, because, because i plus j. Okay. And m11. One, one. Okay, so value of the M11 is already uh, we are calculated that is 3 and minus 1 to the power square that means 1. So 1 into 3 this is 3. So similarly next C12. C12 means minus 1 to the power 1 plus 2 into M12. So, M12 means minus 2. So, minus 2 into minus 1, this is 2. Similarly, for the C21 and C22 also. Now, for example, see that find the minors and cofactors of the elements of the matrix A equals to 1, 3, minus 2, 4, minus 5, 6, and 3, 5, 2. So, let A equals to the given matrix 1, 3, minus 2, 4, minus 5, 6, 3, 5, 2. Now, let M, I, J and C, I, J denote respectively the minor and the cofactor of the element A, I, J in A. So now we can say that M11, one, one, that is minor 1,1, one, one, that means if we take the minor of 1,1 one, one means A11 one, one, respective row columns are deleted. So 1 respective row column are deleted, then means remaining is minus 5, 6, 5, 2. If we multiply multiply in the determinant form then 5 into 2 that is minus 5 into 2 that is minus 10 minus 
6 into 5, 30. So, minus 40. Similarly, for the M12, M13, M in, sorry, M21 for all the elements. Okay. M21, M22, M23, M31, M32. Okay. M33 for all the elements, all the nine elements uh, in the matrix, you have to find the minor of the elements. Okay. For all the elements, you have to find the minor of the matrix. So now, that is cofactor. So for the cofactor, see that C11 equals to minus 1 to the power 1 plus 1 into M11, that is minus 40. C12 equals to minus 1 to the power 1 plus 2 into M12, that is 10. C13 equals to minus 1 to the power 1 plus 3 into M13, that is 35. And so on, C121 equals to minus 16, C22 equals to 8, C23 equals to 4, C31 equals to 8, C32 equals to minus 14, C33 equals to minus 17. Now another example for 2 marks question. If x minus 2 minus 3, 3x, 2x equals to 3, find the values of x. So x minus 2 minus 3, 3x, 2x equals to 3. Simple cross multiplication for the determinant rule. So, 2x into x minus 2 plus 9x equals to 3. That means 2x squared minus 4x plus 9x equals to 3. So, 2x squared plus 5x minus 3 equals to 0. That means 2x minus 1 into x plus 3 equals to 0. So, x equals to half and minus 3. Note down all of you. Now, we are going to discuss about properties of determinants. So, there is so properties are there, so many properties are there, You're starting from number 1. The sum of the product of elements of any row or column with their cofactors is always equal to dt. That means, for example, A equals to 1023142030, this is a 3 by 3 matrix. So, if we are calculating with the first row or first column we get minus 1 here so from we are uh, taking the first row here see that the element 1 is a11 0 is a12 and 2 is a13 also here 2 is a Two is the a three one zero is the a three two and three is the a three three. That means if we multiply the determinant with respect to the first column or the last column, whatever may be, the data value is always same. This is minus one and this is also minus one. Okay, this is the first property of the Determinate the sum of the product of element of any row or column with their cofactors is always equal to date A. Now in number 2, see that if each element in a row or column of a determinant is 0, then the value of the determinant is 0. That means if a row or column that means a row is 0 here see that 0 0 0 so if this is 0 that means the determinant value is 0 so if a row or a column column is not here so if a row or any column is 0 then the value of the determinant is 0 next number 3 if each element on one side of the principal diagonal of a determinant is 0, then the value of the determinant is the product of the diagonal elements. I repeat. If each 
on the one side of the principal diagonal of a determinant is 0 then the value of the determinant is the product of the diagonal elements now see the example see that here <coughs> these three elements are 0 that means this is a lower triangular matrix so okay, this is a lower triangular matrix so the if we multiple we, according to the first row okay we get 6 that means the multiplication is the diagonal elements so that's 3 into 2 into 1 this is 6 okay now in number 4 see that the values of a determinant remains unchanged if its rows and columns are interchanged that means if rows and columns are interchanged then the value of the determinant are same this is a very important this is a very important rule number 4 is a very important rule the values of determinant remains unchanged if the rows and columns are interchanged now see that a equals to 1320215025020 so now data equals to minus 7 okay data equals to minus 7 now after changing the rows and columns that means transpose transpose means changing the rows into column changing the rows into column see that here 1 3 2 in the rows now I am writing here in the column so a transpose means changing the rows into columns so 105 Three two 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 one zero. Now, if you calculate the data of a transpose, the value is same minus seven. That means data equals to data of a transpose. Data equals to data of a transpose. Okay, this is a very important property. Now, next one. If two rows or columns of determinants are interchanged, then the value of the determinant change by minus sign only. That means A equals to A123250326 are there. We only changed the first two column. That means 252 in the second here and 123 is the first here. In the second part, see that. 1, 2, 3 is the second hair and 2, 5, 2 is the first hair. That means the row columns are interchanged. If columns are interchanged, then the minus will arise. Okay. If again interchange, then minus will be vanished. Okay. If again interchange, then minus will be vanished. Okay. Next. Number 6. If two parallel lines, rows or columns of a determinant are identical, then the value of the determinant is 0. See that here the first row is 1, 2, 3 and the third row is 1, 2, 3. So here the value is 0. The determinant value is 0. If the two rows and two columns are identical or same, that means the value of the data is 0. Next, in number 7, say that if each element of the of a row or column of a determinant is multiplied by the same number of k, k is a constant here, then the value of the new determinant is k times the value of the original determinant. That means, see that a1 equals to a24, 6, 8, 10, 2, 3, 4 is there. Now, 6, 8, 10, both are divisible by 2. That means we take common 2 from them. So you can write here 2 of 1, 2, 4, 3, 4, 5. Take 2 common from this row and 2, 3, 4. Next, if each element of a row or column of a 
determinant are consist the sum of two or more terms then the determinant can be expressed in two or more identity uh, determinants whose other rows or columns are not altered very important this is also so a equals to see that a1 k a1 plus k b1 plus k c1 plus uh, plus k a2 b2 c2 a3 b3 c3 are there so this is the addition of two elements okay the addition of two elements so now we broke it that means a equals to a1 a2 a3 b1 b2 b3 c1 c2 c3 plus k k a2 b2 c2 a3 b3 c3 are same these are same okay only this is broken into two parts okay next one if to each element of a row or column of a determinant be added the equi multiples of the corresponding elements of one or more rows and columns the value of the determinant remains on unaltered that means if delta equals to a1 a2 a3 b1 b2 b3 c1 c2 c3 and in k times of the elements the second column corresponding to the elements the first column that means a1 plus k a2 then a2 plus uh, sorry a2 a3 b1 plus k into b2 b2 b3 c1 plus k into c2 c2 c3 now we can broke it into uh, two parts uh, previously discussed so a1 a2 a3 b1 b2 b3 c1 c2 c3 plus k into a1 uh, a2 a2 a3 b2 b2 b3 c2 c2 c3 that means zero so delta is the value that previously given determinant we are writing here that means delta 1 equals to delta if a and b are square matrices of same order then we can write date of a b equals to date a into date b this is a very important part date of a b equals to date a into date b okay date a into date b okay these are the properties we are mainly used for the determinant these are very important part and confirm four marks confirm four marks are coming in isc from determinant so be prepared for that and uh, this all the properties you have to learn properly that's why uh, you have to use in the applications so all the properties are important okay mentionally uh, two or three is valuable we are using this in every sums so got it properly all the properties so from uh, next day we are starting the exercise thank you all of you take care bye